Good morning, Melba Smith. What an honor it is to have you sitting beside me in my home. Thank you, Judy, um, for inviting me. Um, it's nice to be able to have a chance to talk with you. Judy, what are you passionate about? I am passionate about every molecule of life and living. I am passionate about the people on our planet. I am passionate about what I hope we can all do together to change our planet to a more, to upright it and become a much more civilized society. Judy, what life's accomplishments have brought you the most fulfillment? Melva, that is a very difficult question. It is a very complex question. There are many vignettes in my life that would be equally, could be equally presented to you today. So with that being said, let's just say that these little vignettes, all of them, piggybacking one on the other, has been my fulfillment. It has, I have been on a path for a very long time. I didn't even know I was. And as I went along this path, which could have started millenniums a year ago, I don't know. But I do know that as I've moved through my life, these little little tiny things, whether it be a success in business, whether it being launching someone else as an entrepreneur, whether it be touching a simple bag lady on the street. I can't put my finger on any single one, but I feel so fulfilled when I look back over this path and I realize that all these little tiny segments are leading to my fulfillment. I hope that answers your question. What makes life meaningful for you? What makes life meaningful for me is the people that I touch and the people that touch me back every single day. Tell us about the Friendly Visitors Program and how did you become involved? I had a very successful business in Newport Beach, California. I worked with the rich and famous, if you will, and it, it satisfied all the parts of me. It satisfied my creativity, my drive, my, uh, my, my self-worth. And then I aged, and as I aged, the work became more difficult. And it was a decision I had to make. I had to close a door and open another one. So I did, gracefully, I hope. Uh, but after doing that, as so many people do, who either, I felt retired every day. Every workday was a Sunday. People retire and they're looking for that euphoric uh, place where everything is wonderful and you, and you have no stress and you can do whatever you want. What I found was a void, a very deep void. And in that void, I soon realized that I had to open another door. I had to be have a purpose. I needed to engage with people. I always loved people. And so I, one morning, sitting on my couch with my cup of coffee, perusing the newspaper, I happened to notice on an inside page uh, the volunteer section. And I thought, you know what? That might be okay. And so I, progress I proceeded to follow just one, and that, that was the peer support, excuse me, the Senior Peer Support Program, which was under the umbrella of the Council on Aging, and it served the mental health community. 
I had never worked with mental health, and so I went for an interview. I met with Dr. Catherine Maxwell. I, sh I would have normally have met Michelle Leonard, who was director then uh, of, of volunteerism, but she was away. And we had an instant connection. And I, had, I felt alive again. And so with this, I was interviewed, and then I was called, and I was told that I was no longer a candidate, but I could enter a learning program. And so I did. That is how I began under the umbrella of Council on Aging as a volunteer. Judy, what is the current status of the program? Ms. Smith, the program has been tabled due to the lack of funding. What would you like to see happen? Melba, I would like to see this program reinstated. I feel it is a vital program. It is a, a program that will be useful to each and every one of us as we continue to age. I'm going to speak for all of us. I believe that we have a rich, vast community of people that are and were shakers and movers around the world. People from Russia, people from, from England, people from, it doesn't matter where, Mexico. They are all around us. They've done wonderful things. And in, I believe that we owe them, we owe them the right to remain viable citizens, to, to continue to give back to their communities, to be respected as the elderly are in other countries around the world. And I believe that this program, this program will enable us to help them in that way. Judy, what are you willing to do? Melba, I am willing to do whatever is necessary to, to reinstate the program. As we travel through our lives, each and every one of us, we make contacts we, with companies, with corporations, with individuals. And I believe that these people that I have touched and these people who have touched me in return will stand up and join me, will come in behind me and endorse this program. 